in this video I'll be covering how to use instant instance mirrors or mirror geometry and when to use the soft selection tool or feature so sometimes when you're modeling you'll need to model um, two halves of a head for example or two halves of a body and we, what you'll want to do is just work on one it's a very common practice in, um, in 3D um, and the way Silo does it is like this. So we'll take a basic cube to start with and at the moment the manipulator is in the dead center of the cube as you can see. So I'm going to switch to quad view just to show you a little better. So what I'm going to actually do is move the cube roughly to the edge of we see this line here that's the y-axis the vertical axis and this is the x and y ax x axis and the z-axis is the one that we're looking into the screen with so we've moved it to the edge like so and I'm going to move the manipulator to this edge here and there's a couple of ways we can do that firstly if we don't mind doing it roughly we can just hit keyboard M and slide the manipulator along like so keyboard M again and the manipulator now sits on the edge like so so if I was to hit keyboard R for rotate and rotate it would rotate around that pivot point there so that's the quickest way of doing it not as accurate as the next one so the next one would be I'll just put it back doing the same process with keyboard M the second process would be to use keyboard A and go to point mode like so you can see in this one I'm using the spacebar to switch between the views I've now put the a selection on this edge here any of these points here will do and then if I use selection set object access that does exactly the same thing and if you can keyboard F to select the object and then as you can see it's, it's the same the difference I suppose there is that instead of having it here it's on this edge now that doesn't actually matter to us as we're not intending to rotate it around it's simply to be used as the the mirrored point so you can see it's sitting nicely on this edge here now so I'm going to go to keyboard D delete that face and I'm going to mirror across this axis here so there'll be a mirrored version here so what we'll do is go to modify mirror and we've got several options here so we've got mirror geometry instance mirror toggle calculate symmetry symmetry mode and restore symmetry so we'll, we're going to focus on these two here and we've got options that can be called up by clicking that there which gives us the options firstly for mirror geometry and secondly for instance mirror oops instance mirror option like so now what I've done there, I've clicked the instance mirror and it's toggled it on already. So this is my original object and this is the mirrored version across this axis here. So if I toggle that off, you'll see exactly what I mean. There's the open face. And there's it on, toggled on. Now with instance mirror toggle, what you're creating is an instance. So it's not true geometry in the sense that you can act on it. So I can go into any of our component modes, so face, edge any of these modes like so and we can act on any of them we like so let's just quickly turn off soft selection because we don't need that at the moment I'll just drag this across slightly so we can see a little bit more of the action so if I want to then move a vertice it will mirror it here I move in this one the same things happening on this side mirrored same here same here same here same here the one difference being that in the center even though I'm now moving left and right it's not s coming away from the centered point which is a definite bonus when you're modeling something like a head we can even carry on creating geometry so I'm just going to do a very quick extrude like so and as you can see it's created on this side as well 
again remember I'm only acting on this side if I try to select anything on this side in any way it won't work okay so we'll just move some of those points in and then we'll go back to keyboard F object mode modify mirroring instance mirror bring the options back and turn that off so as you can see all I've done once we've finished is create an object that can be mirrored should we need to mirror it now to make that true geometry because we've got the axis in the center on the edge there we can go to modify mirror options again so this is true geometry now and if we were to hit mirror it will mirror across the world axis on X which is what we want with a merge tolerance of um, 0 0.001 now that tolerance if you depending on the scale of the objects you're using can help you snap across so for example it doesn't have to be dead on the center line depending on your merge tolerance and what we will do as well is keep symmetry on there and we'll show you what that means in a second so if I mirror it across what's actually happened there is we've got true geometry on both sides symmetry is on so I can still act on this side and it'll be mirrored across but now I can also act on this side as you can see I'm moving the left hand side and now the right's moving what did happen was that the merge tolerance wasn't high enough and the centers aren't actually snapped together so I can if I just undo all that work and go back so I can either increase the tolerance which I'll do now I'm not sure how high I need to go with this so I'm just going to go up to 2 might be a little bit too high but we'll try it and hit mirror again it's gone way too high so if I was to go just a little bit higher 0 0.002 and mirror it we're almost there what we do need to do is make sure that we are dead on the center line I'm going to use a very simple technique I'm just going to select all of the points on that edge so I'll just show you on this one here so we've just selected all of these points here go to the numerical editor which is editors numerical editor and I'm going to set everything on the x-axis to zero that will be exactly in the center now go back to object mode and mirror it and that gives us exactly the effect we were looking for and so there's no messing with the tolerance and it's dropped us right into the center like so that is actually now as you can see a complete object let's turn it all around okay